illegal fireworks in San Jose. These home surveillance videos from the Roosevelt Park Neighborhood Association shows why police responded to around 180 illegal fireworks calls on the 4th. And the city website showed just how clustered the activity was. The association said the situation wasn't as bad as last year, but they were still frustrated. And there's a hot spot about two blocks over from where we're speaking right now that's uh, that, that you know you could just you could park a car out there you could go over there and just arrest the whole the whole group of people san jose police point out its understaffed force responded not only to the roughly 180 fireworks calls but also 1,000 other calls that day today police revealed it had arrested a san jose man 49 year old mark espinosa for distribution of illegal fireworks officers seized about 1,000 pounds of fireworks from a milpita storage unit he was selling the actual fireworks. I'm not too sure how he was connecting with his customers, but he was distributing it throughout the Bay Area. In fact, Espinosa is a familiar face in the Alviso neighborhood where he fought the city for not putting in a public park. But well-known Alviso community leader Richard Santos says Espinosa had a prior conviction for illegal fireworks and praised police for the arrest while still criticizing the city for ignoring Alviso's ongoing fireworks problems. Nobody comes to the mayor's house with a six-pack and a folding chair, but they come to Alviso, so it's been lawless. So they did a great job. They finally got the source that has been contributing to this for 15 to 20 years. The Neighborhood Association has a community meeting with city officials tonight at the Roosevelt Community Center to air their concerns and find out what else it might take to get some peace, if not quiet, during the next 4th of July holiday. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.